But you see, I'd, I'd built up such a lovely, loyal client base. I mean, they all had their, their allotted times to call. After tea, of course, to keep it discreet. And, um, well, they seemed to rather enjoy it. And, well, it was quite a nice little lucrative bit of pocket money for me so that I could buy myself a few treats every now and then. Marge said she didn't know how I did it, but to be perfectly honest, when when the phone rang of an evening, I mean, I'd know who it was because I had my little spreadsheet sorted of their allotted times. And and the funny thing is, the second I answered the phone, this alter ego would take over. My voice would would drop into a lower register, and and I'd say things like. Well, hello, who's been a naughty boy then? And what are you wearing? And all that sort of palaver. It was a hoot. <laughs> and um, yeah, they, they, they seemed to like it and pay for it, for goodness sake. <laughs> I mean, really, who would have thought? But, <clears throat> but now, with the whole um, social distancing thing, they're, they're wanting more of a connection. So, um, so they're, they're, they're wanting to do the Zoom. And well, well, well if we do the Zoom, then, then they're going to see this. And th th they're not going to expect this. And I don't want to see their bits, for God's sake. Uh, so I thought, I thought some sort of a solution might be if, if I wear a mask. Maybe, you know, that would help. But I had a bit of a look around and, and all I could find was, was my Dame Edna glasses and the second I put those, hello possums! And I, I just don't think that's really going to cut it, do you?